What is up guys, it's still server and games are just .com here. Today I'm going to show you how to install plugins on our TZ admin hosted servers. First off, we're going to go to plugins.bucket.org and just search for the plugin you want. Click on the one that fits you. Click on the download button over here. Scroll down, see what game version it is. 1.6.2 uh, should work just fine with 1.6.4. Going to download, save the file. You could also choose to open. It's up to you. Just uh, let's put it down here. Now, the way you extract it is simply just by installing WinRAR. Once you have it installed, you can just right-click and extract here, or you can open it up and um, just uh, mark the files that you need here. I just drag and drop. All right. Once you have that. We're just going to log into our TZ admin panel here using the information sent on email. Click on Game Services, and it's going to make you see all your server information. And all we need here is the server IP address. Go to FileZilla and just type that in host. Username is the same as you logged in with TZ admin, so in this case, it's test user, and the same password. And the port is just left blank. Just click on the folder right there, and as you can see, I have all my Minecraft server files right here. Open up the plugins folder here, you see it's empty. And now we just gotta mark all these jar files and the folder that we extracted, and just drag and drop. It's gonna take a minute to upload these plugins right here. Alright, all the plugins are now uploaded. Now we can go back to our control panel. Just click on the start button right here. And as you can see, the memory is going up. It means it started. Click on the web console. And you'll be able to see that it's starting to load all the plugins here. And if you really want to test it out and edit the config files and stuff, click, just click on the file manager here. Open up the plugin folder. And as you can see, you got all my essentials uh, configuration files and stuff like that right here. You can edit them just by clicking this little pencil here should make you capable of setting the, the different lengths and stuff like that. Anyway, Scylla.com here, 